What's going on guys, Winter Kills here, we are back with another first place Locals deck profile and I'm here with the man, the myth, the legend, the one and only Kaz. What's up guys? And he just went 4-0 uh, today, playing, uh, what deck sir? Uh, the uh, Sword Soul Technique. The Sword Soul Technique. You gotta love this deck man. He was on the Prank It strategy oh, and he switched it up to the Sword Soul Tactics. This deck's just so much more fun. <laughs> it absolutely is, nothing like breaking boards, just engine cards. That's all you need. But uh, go ahead and show us the uh, show us the sauce. Get right into it. So. Kind of saucy, I know. Three Moe. Oh, yeah. Uh, I know some people cut this to two. Three is just amazing. This is like the best card in the deck. And I like to lose die rolls a lot, so. <laughs> Just free specs. If you got bad luck, play three. Yep. <laughs> three long in, of course. I don't think I don't think two is standard at all. Like I don't know if you're playing two of this card, you're crazy. It's a god card. And then just two tie, typical, like sword sword ratios. Not much else to talk about there. I'm playing three Ashina. Three Vishuda and two Adara. Some people might call me crazy for two Adara, <laughs> but these ones are just so much better. And like, like I said, I lose die roll a lot, so Vishuda just always better for me personally. Yep. Like, this can make the Hell combo turn one. It's really nice, but you don't need it that much. Like every hand, like unless your hand's really bad, that's when you go for the Hell combo or like try to like bait out a hand trap before you go into your actual Sword Soul plays. Yep. But I love this 10E lineup. Or well, I have one more. I play this card too. Um, I didn't really use it all day. It didn't come up at all. I've been thinking about cutting it, but the utility is still there. I do like this card a lot still. Um, then we're going to go into the hand traps. Just two Ogre, three Ash, and uh, the dr Gamma package. I'm also playing, I'll just pull this out now, uh, three Droplets. This is like the going second lineup, uh, including like Vishuda too, and Semi Ecclesia. This is sort of a going second card, but I think these are perfect for the deck. Like, I don't like Imperm in this deck, and we're just siding the Ghost Spell. Um, this is just for the e telly and just the Fateful is just insane. And I know people, some people don't like Droplets in this deck, but if you start Droplet Emergence in like a Tenyi, you could just break any board pretty much. Like in my um, my last game, that's what I did. I started uh, Tenyi plus Emergence and it was just... And why don't you like uh, Imperm in the deck? Imperm, it's just too slow. Cause like you'll see a lot of hands where you just need um, more so high impact hand traps. Cause you don't want to draw a handful of like low impact hand traps and then just like one or two engine cards. Mm -hmm. You want to see like one high impact hand trap or like droplet. And then like, these are cool to always draw like Ash is like obligatory I feel like. Yeah. But if you, you mostly want to see your engine plus like a high impact going second card. Gotcha. I wish I could play like, like another card in here. I don't know like what would be super high impact though. Like I think these are the best ones and Nib kind of conflicts. So Oh yeah. I wish I could play it. And it's, but it's not really good against Despia and Overall, this format is not super great, but I think okay. this is fine for going second stuff. Um, the brick, I hate this card. Most loyal. Uh, then we got three emergence, two vessel, and a two circle. I don't really know if I like this card that much. I was thinking about cutting it, but I used to hate vessel, but I love it now. Mm. It just makes all your tiny plays just go through for free, pretty much. It's just so nice, and they, you sometimes have to use Ash on this. Then you're either your Ecclesia will resolve, or like your Emergence will resolve if you don't start it. Mm -hmm. um, but I think these are fine. These might come out. I'm still not too sure on it. I really didn't see it too much today. I think I saw like one game. Mm -hmm. Didn't really come up, but in theory it's good. So that's why I play it. And we just play the two Etelli. Seeing more than one usually sucks, and we play Get the Game in the main, so it adds a little bit of utility there too. Make like different synchro plays. Um, I still play this card. I know a lot of people cut it. I think it's crazy. I drew it a lot today. Um, it like one, t one game it brought me back a Chi Shao and that like helped me push through a whole board like going like after he cracked it. Yeah, I saw the start really going nice. for you today, definitely. Yeah, Bring it was back really nice. Chi banish blackout, get, go for the long yun, really good. Yeah, it was really nice. I love I love the summit. I'm not gonna cut that card unless it just ends up being really bad or something, mm -hmm. you know. But then just one blackout. It's all you really need. Um, not much else to say. And then the god card of the deck, Desires. Yeah, it's your spirit card. <laughs> My spirit card. I somehow draw this, like, not every game, but, like, I think I drew it out of the four rounds we played today. I think I drew it three rounds, at least one game per. I drew it a big old zero, baby. Sadness. Love to see that. <laughs> yeah, love, love Desires. Best card in the deck, honestly. Absolutely. Uh, we'll go straight into the uh, extra deck here. Standard, two Chi Zhao, two Boxia. Not much to say there. These cards are nuts. Like, this card just breaks boards on its own. And then you go, go into Chi Zhao after and just... It's so good. So good. It's the best part of the deck. Berserker, I feel like you need to play this card still. It's just too good. Uh, this is like my like spice, I guess, the Omega. Um, I didn't make it at all today, but in testing it came up, especially with the um, the Cyframe package, just to rip one out of hand. Mm. And it combos with um, Chenging as well, because you could just go turn or like into playing into a board, go into Omega with your Gamma and Driver, and then 
Make a Cheng Ying, banish it, banish from Grave and Field. It's kind of nice. Okay. And one from hand. Mm -hmm. The Yazi, only level 7. You sometimes make this going first, you go for the uh, Halk route, but it's just another insane going second card. Just cracks boards on its own. And then the new card, the tens, these are all standard. Nothing crazy there. I made, um, I think I made them all about equally today. Like, no one outperformed the other. I did go for the greedy play a lot with this, though, to draw two. It was nice, because I know a lot of not, not a lot of people are on Nib, so I'm not like super worried about it. Yeah. And like if I know they're on like Despy or something, I doubt they're playing Nib in that. Mm -hmm. So I just, if I'm playing against that deck, I just make this and just draw two for free. Yeah. On the end of the links, just two Monk, that's all you really need now. The Shaman's kind of obligatory. And then the Hulk package, and that's it for the extra deck there. Like, not much else to say. I think it's pretty standard except for that Omega. Yeah. And then, uh, sideboard? side deck. Ghost Bell is the uh, only hand trap we're side in. Um, it's just for the Despia deck and like prank kids. It's it's nice. <laughs> like yeah. not much else to say about it there. Two chalice for token collector and just like is a good going six or going second card against like I put it in against Brave just to out the Griffin if uh, that comes up. But it's yeah. mostly for token collector. I almost always put that in going second or going games two and three. Then we got the back row removal here. Only one by the way. Only one by the way. <laughs> <laughs> it should probably be um like three lightning storm, two cosmic. But I didn't get a chance to put them in before the tournament today, so I just rocked with the uh, three here. It did come up against the striker guy I played today. It was kind of oh, crazy. That's the one of Lightning Storm <laughs> too. Oh my god! Hey, so we good, were bro. we were under Mystic Mind. We were drawing lots of cards. That's like, true. That's I true. I kept it, so it was bound to come up. Absolutely. And then we got the traps. These cards are all nuts. <laughs> Floodgates yes. going first, and sometimes this deck does struggle a little bit going first. So I do like having like a lot of Floodgates, especially um. If you're playing the um, draw two, or if you go the draw two route, you could just draw into these two and mm -hmm. then just like win for free. You yep. could just banish two things and uh, have a Chi Zhao. And then the last card, Chow Funky. <laughs> Chow Funky. Uh, we're siding this just for like Drytron. And like there's the route that we um, talked about where you can go e make Yazi turn one into e Telly and like, gamma. gamma and then make this um, Dark Lock. It, mm -hmm. it could come up against Despia. I didn't do it today, but it's there for that and just for like Drytron and stuff like that. Mm. So I sided it because I just wanted to play Omega because I'm main in it. Yeah, so, okay. Yeah. And that is the deck. Shout outs to Ecclesia. Shout outs to Ecclesia. <laughs> shout outs to Ecclesia. All the and uh, shout outs to all the boys, of course, who helped me test, like you, Alex, and everybody at the Goat House, everybody I played today. Mm -hmm. All go to with the sauce. Uh, do you want to quickly just go through your matches? Oh, yeah, fast? true. You just run through them real quick. Yeah, so round one was like a Gem Knight at Emancipator deck. Uh, I won die roll. I just did full combo pretty much with the uh, what's it called the draw two combo. Mm -hmm. I set blackout. Uh, he goes red eyes fusion as his first play. I just ash it. Done. Then game two he starts comboing off, but I just hold my gamma for um, his end board. Mm -hmm. He didn't have Naturia Landios and Naturia Beast. It was kind of weird. Yeah. Kind of cool though. Um, I just gammed the Landios because that's all he had, and then I just proceeded to make a long yun, pop the Beast, and just play play my deck pretty much. Okay. Um, Round two, we played against Striker. Lost Dyro, but he made me go first. Game one was pretty over pretty quick. It, striker sucks. <laughs> uh, but in game two, he mined me, but I was surprised he outed his own mind. I thought he was just going to sit on it the whole game and try to duck me out, but he didn't. He started playing through it. I think the game, you'll see it on the channel, it got a little scuffed. He uh, activated an Imperm in an, uh, activated an Imperm in a comm in the game by Macrocosmos. Then he proceeded to play every spell there, and we didn't catch it. So yeah, it's it on both of us. It is what it is. But either way, I think I was still winning that game. Yeah. I just OTK him through because he outed his own line. I don't know why he did that. Yeah. Uh, game three, or round three, played against like a, the 40 card base deck or like 44 or something. Uh, he opened kind of mids both game. Like he just opened like brave stuff, and like he didn't even make DP either game. So I think he had Dasher in his hand like one of the games or something too and he had to discard for a droplet to stop my play but uh, that was just the 2-0 he didn't open super well and this deck could just break the brave engine like like nothing yeah. pretty much oh and i gambled his um what was it called shooting riser dragon game two and that stopped like his whole snow like barren play for the follow-up and i just won through that mm -hmm. then the last round played against the despia brave deck he was also playing like shadal fusion in it so that kind of threw me off mm -hmm. it was just like a lot but I think game one I lost because he just had his whole engine going. I opened kind of kind of weak. I just opened I think like two Vishuda, Longyun, Summit, and like I think a going second card. I forget which one. Mm -hmm. But 
games two and three, we took it. We uh, just did the draw two play that game, uh, game two. And then game three, he didn't open very strong. He just opened Brave stuff plus DP, and I would had the droplet, so I just yeah. cracked the board with Boxia and droplet, and that's pretty much it. Love that for you, King. Thank you, King. Congrats on going 4-0. You Thank won a you. mat today too, apparently. You won a mat, yeah, I got a mat. It's I don't, I don't the, know where it is. Albez mat, yeah. who knows? I don't know where it is. I didn't get it. You know? Congrats yeah. on that. And uh, yeah, anything else? That's pretty much it. Thank All you right. for having me on. No As problem, always. my pleasure. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one. And last but not least, a huge shout out goes to our Divine Level channel members who are Tweeter0226, Ponystar, Cadillacs84, Keith Sidgers, Justin Lamb, Master of Isa, and HDH Cyber. Thank you guys so much for your extremely kind and generous support of the channel.